Hey guys, this is Zane here. Today we're going to take another look at Battlefield 4, in particular, the Last Stand DLC. Now, if you don't already know, this is the last DLC that's going to be coming out uh, for the Battlefield 4 uh, game ever. Now, there are some rumors that there's going to be a possible free DLC. Um, I haven't heard too much about that. Uh, but, you know, it's it's possible. It'd be pretty cool if they did, especially since they fucked us in pretty much every other way. But today we're going to take a little bit look of the map Hammerhead. This is the only one that's out in CTE right now. Well, at least by the time I made this video. Uh, but we're also going to look at some of the bugs because this map is buggy as fuck. Now, it is in uh, its pre-release. It's extreme pre-release. Where I'm playing this on the CTE server, so it's expected to have bugs. But... I will say that I am a little bit of worried with the amount of bugs because, you know, it is dice. And here's a good look at the bugs right here. This is the kind of stuff that you look at. You'll be shooting someone and you'll just hit. You'll just hit random like you're you're hitting a wall or something. It gets really bad over here. But the, the reason I'm kind of worried about this is because we know that dice takes a long time to fix stuff. Like, look, that should be... I'm not... Sh there's Look how far away I am from that mountain. And it's still... I didn't even get that kill. Um, I also noticed that there was a problem with uh, hit markers, especially especially in the tank. Uh, the tank seems like uh, when you're in the gunner seat that sometimes you don't get that hit mark registration. Uh, but other than that, I mean, bug-wise, there's, there's an area where <laughs> character models will completely go invisible. It's actually up inside of here. It's on the other side of this whole building, though. It's this small little tunnel you can run in, and literally enemy characters, friendly characters, will go invisible for a second. Uh, this gun is extremely overpowered. You can pretty much one-shot kill people from across the map. But all right, enough of the bad at the moment until I figure out something else that I want to say bad. Let's go ahead and talk about the good a little bit. Um, well, actually, I already thought of some other bad shit that I could say about this DLC, but let's go ahead and talk about the good a little bit. Uh, it's not bad. If you have premium, you can jump on the CTE servers and go ahead and play it. Uh, play it for right now. Like I said, all these bugs and stuff hopefully will be fixed. If you see the little red flashing text that's going on my screen right now, that's actually what it's saying. Uh, it's pretty much telling you, hey, this is just, this is pre-alpha, blah, blah, blah. This is not, this is not the finished product, so don't be too worried about it, but... The map is enormous. From what I've heard that all the other maps are enormous as well. So it's going to be a lot of uh, vehicle combat. You get to a point to where you're running around on the map and it does. It seems like there's not enough vehicles. Now I don't mean I don't want a shit ton of tanks and stuff. But I mean some jet, not jet skis, some snowmobiles and shit like that that you can actually travel to, uh, to other sides of the map. Because these maps are so massive. It feels like it's a lot of just running around trying to get to the next objective. So if you like to play infantry combat, I would suggest staying inside of these caps right here. So right by the the C and is that B flag, I believe. This is where most of the infantry combat is going to be. And uh, you can just run back and forth between these two flags because they're really close together. But uh, this map is, um, you know, really for, for the last stand DLC, uh, you would imagine that dice would really try to blow it out of the water for the very last DLC that they're gonna do I'm not that impressed with it um, to be honest with you it's not it's not amazing they're not bad it's not a bad map but it's not something that I was like very impressed with right from the get-go now there are some new weapons unfortunately there will be no loadout weapons coming to this DLC now what I mean by that you I, there's no weapons that you can go into your loadout and equip like, I know Paracel, or not Paracel Storm, I know the uh, Naval Strike DLC had the SR2, the AWS, stuff like that. There will not be any new weapons that you can actually put in your loadout. There are battle pickups. So the battle pickups are the weapons, like the, um, the snipers you can pick up off the ground, or the shotgun with the frag rounds. That kind of stuff you can pick up. There's one that's a railgun that you can pick up. There's the one that reminds me a lot of the MAV from Battlefield 2. Uh, Bad Company 2, I mean, to where you can actually fly around. It does a lot of damage. It's kind of weird to control. But then they have these things that are uh, these hover tanks, which is, it's a little, it looks derpy, to be honest with you. It just looks weird. 
uh, especially with the realism of the, how Battlefield likes to be, and then you see these hover tanks going around. It's kind of funny. You'll see people because the hover tanks are really maneuverable, but if you spin them too much, then your your fucking tank will just spin out. So you'll see there's a hover tank right there. You'll see people running, uh, driving down the the middle of the road. They try to turn real quick, and then their fucking tank just starts doing 360s and just spinning around. So it's kind of weird. It's um. I mean, it it seems like more of like a just a novelty thing. It doesn't seem like anything that's really going to change the gameplay too much. Uh, it seems also like it's trying to. Here's a here's a good example, real quick. Let me change topics. See all that? Those bullets. I don't know if it's not hitting them because of the mountain. But look, if you see right there, I actually killed that guy, but I didn't get any hit markers for it. So it makes it really confusing if you you don't know if you're actually hitting them or not. Uh, it could have been the bug in the wall how uh, earlier in the video I was not getting any hit markers because the wall was, or the mountain, it had an invisible wall right there and it was busting all my shots. But, you know, like I was saying, it, it seems like these hover tanks are kind of trying to be like uh, reminiscent of Battlefield 2142, which if you don't know was an older Battlefield title that was all futuristic. Uh, there's screenshots of other maps where you can actually see mechs and stuff inside this huge hangar. So I mean, if it, I wouldn't mind them actually going back and releasing another Battlefield 2142. But what I think they should have done is release a super big epic DLC at the very end, which was like, uh, like how Battlefield Bad Company 2 had the Vietnam DLC. That would have been awesome. They had it to where it was 2142 DLC, and you had all these futuristic weapons. You had a whole new list of guns. You couldn't use your modern day guns. Because obviously you're in the future and you're going to get fucked up by guns like that. And you know how you had the futuristic tanks and stuff. That's what I would think would have been cool for uh, uh, a Final Stand DLC. Instead of just, you know, the same stuff. Especially with how rocky Battlefield 4 has been. And, you know, shitty launch. Um, pretty much shitty all the way up until recently. The patch hasn't come out yet. The September patch, which is going to fix a lot of the problems. So the game is still pretty shitty in vanilla version. But look at that right there. I didn't get any hit markers and I killed the guy. Um, but like I said, it's still, it's not the finished product. Hopefully they will be fixing all this stuff. Uh, the game still feels good though, even without the hit markers. I'm playing on the CTE servers. It feels really good, it feels really responsive, and it feels like you actually cause the damage as long as you get the hit markers. But everything should be good. If you like the big maps with, uh, with lots of uh, vehicle combat, then you're gonna like these maps. It's not as much as Armored Kill, was in Battlefield 3 those were enormous maps but you know yeah I think you'll like it it's it has a good um, it's a little bit like naval strike where it has a good flow between the vehicle combat and the infantry combat at least on this first map hammerhead but all right guys I'm gonna have to end this one here if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button and also let me know by subscribing and leaving a comment be sure to check us out in the next one and I'll see you then